can't just say I get Omega and Brandon -y. Let's go, Big Will. To set up five. Oh. Damn. They're both good as fuck. Okay. So, back back to the match. Back to the match. I was kind of sleeping a little bit. Um, both Big Whelp and Tomcat are PRs of their respective regions. Um, both of them have a good level of experience here. Um, in terms of this matchup, I'm not sure if um, he's played Aloha or not, or if Aloha and Tomcat go to the same school. I'll turn it off. Sadly, Diddy's archetype is just very late kill, so in this situation, you definitely want to go for a down tilt fair or even a back throw. Banana, of course, is great, and that's even better. Like, you just condition them the shield. It's so good. Can I have MTG? That is a very, very cool, like, uh, Z aerial cancel Nair. I respect it, but there was really no follow-up after that. At least, I don't believe so. Oh, my God. Can I have heart Woo! and Dr. Persona? I respect it. I thought the barrels were going to come out for sure. But maybe that's not true at that percent. Oh, so good, so good, so good. Fair. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. So he's playing very evasively. I respect it a lot. He's, he can't roll. He can't roll. Oh, that was so good. That was so good. That was an up air opportunity for sure. All right. Can I have Rays and Summer to set up two? You had nothing to give him. Always Kasai, go for stage control you are versus when the combo is new. Kasai. In that situation, you're probably going to hold banana. Yeah. Great DI. Great DI by Tomcat. I respect that a lot. Can I have Astro Z drop Lumi is a good option. No Set up eight. So, fun fact, you don't have to angle F-Tilt to get the two-frame. Um, if you do it just the regular way, it will actually two-frame better than angled F-Tilt. I don't understand why. But I have tested it, and it does two-frame a bit more reliably than angled F-Tilt. Neutral get up shield, neutral get up grab. Getting red pretty hard by the rope. There you go. I respect the... The safety that he's playing with against Tomcat, trying to like nickel and dime him right now. Be careful. Uh, Peace out, bro. No, Ed. Astro Uni has to DQ. All right, no, so Ed. Astro. What I really feel is broken about Diddy is his ability to just um, get out of. Oh shit. Well, get out of jail free basically with side B, and also get back to center stage. It's just so good. It's a really broken move because a lot of characters don't have the speed to catch Diddy when he does that. <laughs> oh my god. That was a good fair. Um, he could have gotten the strong hit, but I respect it. Okay. I would leave the banana there for sure. That was smart. That was smart. Ooh. Alright. Transcendent banana versus transcendent laser. They're both powerful. Oh, okay, okay. I thought for sure he was going to either up smash or nair there. Trade with the monkey flip. It's so hard to react to monkey flip, but at that range, it's definitely possible. You just can't be, like, look away or be afraid of it. Oh, okay. Also a good grab opportunity there. The, uh... Yeah, you don't mess around with Diddy Kong's up tilt. You, you got to understand that Diddy Kong has some of the best anti-airs in the game. The fastest, most reliable. So good. You don't want to mess with Diddy Kong's anti-airs. And Diddy Kong has so many great landing aerials that combo. Um, fun fact, 
Back air will actually combo into reverse down tilt at zero. Zero to like 10%, back air, reverse down tilt, combo after that. So almost all of his aerials combo. Oh yeah, just had the combo, yeah. A lot of new faces here at Anime Tokyo. It's just an amazing thing, honestly. I respect that, but um, he also had a good follow-up opportunity for the, the down throw. It could have been an edge guard opportunity, could have converted into a stock. But I, I respect it. Can I have Giddy and Metallic to set up seven? Also, I don't feel that this is a hard matchup for Diddy. Like, like Diddy Kong spread is probably the most wonky spread in the game. Like, he just does so well versus good characters, quote unquote. Can I get Soluck and Bloop to set up seven? Ah, uh, yeah. Good. Let's trap low chart. Respecting the banana. No, I would have held the banana for sure. I would have held the banana and then lazy at that, that, that range. Playing, uh, Ooh. I respect yeah. that Z, that uh, Zach Bear. Is it Zach or Isaac in this game? I don't remember. I guess it's just Zach. Yup, yup, yup. I like the banana uh, for coverage. You could have also just like neutral get it. Oh. Reverse banana. I think he meant to reverse banana. <laughs> I mean, you gotta account for reaction time and range, Great like... <laughs> oh, shit! Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. You Bruh. You wanna play again? Uh, sure. Good wait, good wait. That was such a good one. Can I have Kanchi in Oasis to set up All three? Right. He's definitely adapting really well in this match. He needs to convert off these low percent fares. There it is. He at least gets something. The back air definitely wasn't true in that situation. He should have just gone for another up air up there. There's, there's the trade. All right, ledge trap situation. How does he react? Could have just waited. Too many guesses. Not enough like reactions or decisions. Like. Banana, that's good. So good. He went for it. Yeah. In that situation, the reward was game. So it's like, I understand. I understand. Like the reward was game, so might as well go for it, right? You lose nothing. I remember being in that situation a while back at LFG. I was playing versus KJ and I was up a stock and I just wanted to kill him so bad I just like dropped zone there. I killed myself, but it was worth it. That was definitely an up air opportunity as well. Unfortunately, Diddy Kong's fair doesn't have too many follow ups. Back here. <clears throat> ah, that was an up tilt opportunity for Diddy Kong. Ah, right, 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 right. You want to stay at that range as Tomcat? Great parry on the banana, but unfortunately, you have to have that awareness too. Like. 
Yeah, that was that was so good. Great follow up. Great job holding center stage. That is exactly what you want to see from a wolf player. Hold center. You can take those risks. That's fine. If they're in the corner, that's exactly what Wolf wants. Because Wolf kills in the corner better than, honestly, most characters. So it's like, damn. Two. All right, he probably... He's going to read the jump. Okay. Okay, Wolf's tilts on shield are actually garbage, so I think you can up B as Diddy Kong out of that. Oh. Alright, hopefully he doesn't neutral get up again. Shit. Alright. Um, let me give you a stage list here. Here you go, dude. Yeah, that's definitely not true unless they DI in for no reason. Thank you. Diddy Kong's neutral is just so good. You're you're just better off just holding it. There you go. Just holding and reacting. Oh my god, that was so fucking good. That was actually amazing. Alright, so now he just has to take advantage of that broken ass neutral. There it is. Barrel. Back air, back air. Up tilt. Mm. Oh, dude, 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 dude. Have I respect the banana attempt. To set up four. Definitely a fair moment. Alright, so whoever dash it Yeah, there you go. Whoever dash attacks first is probably gonna win, so it's like. Yep, there it is. All because he dash attacked. Goodbye. Alright, so. Who will use their boost? Their oh, okay, okay. And how does he hold? Good, holding shield. All he had to do was just convert. Again, you don't mess with Diddy Kong's like out of shield and his anti-airs. It's just too good. You gotta respect it.